that. Yeah, that's what it is. This is an emergency call, what happened? Right, so now the car's all up and running, majority of the issues are all sort of fixed. We're going to get the car on the trailer, take it to paint. Oh, freaking hell, that's shut the door. Hey, guess what? Speedo works. Hey, building cars on trailers. We've managed to borrow one off a friend, but ideally we do need our own, so we're going to pressure Dan into maybe looking for one. I spot like that. Time to get the car on the trailer and get it straight down to him. Nothing more scarier than this, lad. I hate it. It's not nice loading the, loading the car, especially when you've got nice wheels. Come on, stop there in a minute. Let me put you down. Like you say, even though I've got no wing mirrors, I don't really need to see wing mirrors. It's still horrible because I haven't got any. Ah. You know, I don't need them. That's the Based. Yeah. We've been working late nights and we thought we'd stop off and show the kids. Hi, there he is. There he is. Oh, I got this really one logie. Hope you've got to take that to get painted. Can I go? Take you one. Yeah, I can. The, the kids wanted to come for a ride in the truck whilst we take the car to paint them, so we went and picked them up and had a an hour journey out with them for a bit. You got me dodges there, you? Yeah. Can I you? Yeah. Yeah, Right, so now we've arrived at the paint booth. We know he's good. He's painted one of my previous cars. So that's why we went with him. We're going to get it off the trailer and he said it's going to take about a week to paint. So we'll leave it with him and he's going to give us a bell when it's done. Oh, back brand new car. Brand, brand new. <laughs> <laughs> nice, lad. Now the BM's in paint, Dan's been out and bought a Transit Customer Craft one for us to fix, just to, just to fill the time really until it comes back on paint. He needed a van for his fleet, so we've just done that within that week. It's only a quick build, and if it's something you'd be interested in seeing, let us know in the comments, and it'll just be like a one video type thing. <laughs> I think he had it about a week, six days was it, a week-ish? Something like that. But it wasn't too long. Yeah, we were happy with it, like it was clean and weren't it? Especially the yellow was good in it when we picked it up, the sun was baking that day, so it was it was nice to pick it up in the sunshine like. Oh it was lovely, stunning. No no issues with the paint. I um, was happy with the quality and he even brought the bumper back for us because we had no way of getting the bumper back because it weren't attached. I just had to pay for it. I think it creased here. What did you have to do? Like, there was a crease there. Yeah, so now that the car's back from paint, we're going to sort out all the little fiddly bits. I'm going to start with the back end with the badges and the reg plate. Two big holes, though. Two big holes. Two in the back. Would you just push it on or would you put some tape behind it? I think they come off first, push them in, then push that on. They don't seem to want to move. Sick. Are they threads on there? So while we're putting it all back together, I'm just finally adjusting the bonnet. Voila. So it's perfectly straight and all the gaps are nice and even. So putting the bonnet on, it can take a bit of messing about to get your gaps nice either side. That might be enough, that way. Yeah. You just basically loosen the bolts off, uh, just so they're slightly slack. You can knock the hinges a little bit, which will move the bonnet in a certain direction. Obviously, you've just got to keep trying. And it's a bit of experience, really. You prefer the bottom one? Might as well be better. Well, car's been back here the day. The big sh** on it already. Not the paint knife, but still, it wasn't far off getting it. Well, oh, that one. 
Right, so now we've finished with all the little fiddly bits, it's time to put it on the diagnostics and see how many codes we've got. So before we carry on with today's video, I'd like to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, Car Vertical. If you don't want to buy a wreck like we have here, you definitely need to do a car vertical check on any car or bike you're thinking about buying. If you don't do a check, you've got no idea of what the history of the vehicle is. Or what it could be hiding. Luckily with Car Vertical, it's really easy to do. Head over to carvertical.com and enter the vehicle's reg or the VIN and hit check vehicle. With each history check, Car Vertical gathers information from over a thousand global data sources and makes it really easy to understand everything. No matter where you are in the world, you can do one of these checks on any car or motorbike. On top of that, if you use our promo code TR, you'll get 10% off each and every car vertical check that you do. Just click the link in the description below. Let's do a quick check on our BMW M4. This will show us any hidden damage reports, although it's pretty obvious it's damaged, but it'll also show if it's had mileage rollback, common faults of each model. Tell us if it's ever been stolen, and just give us a full picture of the vehicle's history. Don't forget to use our promo code TR for 10% off. Right, back to the video. Right, so after bringing the car back from paint, this is actually the first time we plugged the car into ODB and put it on the hotel. Let's take the new diagnostics for a while. I think we had, what are you saying there, you? What? ODB. What have you said there before? OBD. ODB. No, OBD. OBD. B, D. Yeah, but the... Uh, yeah, you said the Ah, oh, well, bit of dyslexia for you there, if you want to take the shit or <laughs> Right, after bringing the car back from paint, we're going to put the car in diagnostics. This is the first time we've actually plugged it in, so we had, we're going to have a bit of a guess at how many fault codes there would be. See how many codes we've got. Now, we had a bit of a guess between me and Liam. I think he guessed 60 odd and I guessed over 70, 80 maybe. And it was well more than we expected. I don't even know what to do here. I want to say, yeah. Hey, both headlights work. Do they? No, they're there. That's sick. A bit weird, then. Look at the pattern behind you, though. On the door. Watch on the door down low. No, yeah. Right. Auto scan. Fault scan. Let's have it. Yeah, there's f***ing hell. Yeah. <laughs> there's 20 in the engine. There's 44 in another one. Really? Yeah. Oh, what's this? Right, got it. Yeah. Right. Should we go and count them? Um, I think they end up being like 213 fault oh, codes or something like that. Yeah, 44 in front electronic module. 44 codes. The hotel, a good little bit, and it just said, kept saying communication fault, communication fault, for, for a good couple of pages, weren't it? A scroll and like. Yeah. Get your calculator out quick. Calculator. Just so we can do it fast, I'm not sitting here looking like a weapon, trying to add up with my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All the modules weren't speaking to each other, so I knew there was some kind of fault. Um, but yeah, we were on it all day, and basically day. burnt our brains out. Hey, we've got some with no faults. <laughs> Near on a full day, <laughs> messing around with... Because we thought, we thought we had like a broken wire somewhere and... Our meteor, yeah, who knows, quite, he's quite good on diagnostics and all that. And even he couldn't suss it straight away. Yeah, no. About 72. <laughs> <laughs> In the end, we end up just going home and think, sod it. We'll have a look tomorrow with a fresh head. Yeah. One of the easier ones, like. Yeah, so we come in the next day. I had a bit of a brain fart and thought we'd fitted the new airbag module as we fitted the airbags. Um, and just thought maybe that's not coded in. It's not letting all the messages pass through. And it turns out that was the fault. We plugged it in, left it hanging out the centre console and deleted the codes and they all deleted. And that's the first time we got it down to about 12 codes, I think it was. And our day would have just been literally the fact that the bumper would have been off and we had wing mirrors and everything off, didn't we? Door cards on, off and all kinds of stuff. So headlights, have been, headlights were out and everything. So that they were pretty much the 14 codes that we had left. Like. That's up day, is that, isn't it? Yeah, so the airbag system is fixed. And everything else. And a lot of the other <laughs> stuff, yeah. <laughs> can spend money on tyres. <laughs> that doesn't mean <laughs> that at all. Major disaster averted there. So, after deleting the codes and it got down to 12 codes, obviously we were all giddy that we'd sorted the problem out. Forgot up the left the ignition on. Now I know <laughs> the ignition shouldn't be on with anything to do with airbags. It was just the giddiness of the moment and I put the airbag module back in. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem after that. 
Well, we didn't just do that anyway, you know, we were thinking about it. We did say we might have to put that back in. And Long days, Ben, Ted. Yeah, that's all it is, you Ben. Hey, now! Boom. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bang that hard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What's a bomber gone off? It was heavy. Oh, it was loud. I Instantly, for yeah. a split second, you just don't know what's happened. It's just a big bang. I didn't know if the building had come in or what. I don't know. It's just, your head's scrambled, isn't it? Yeah. Ears were ringing. <laughs> Is that earthed out? It's a weird feeling, oh. like, I don't know. I think it's more weird because obviously when you're, when you're about to crash, if you're running in a crash, you, you sort of see it coming, you're going to expect something to happen. There's already a bang going on with a crash going off. That there, you're just messing about in your own little world and, <laughs> and then it just goes off. It's unbelievable. Like. That's the air bands we've got to do again. At least we got them ones. Oh, well, we know what we're doing. I stood at the back of the car and some voice just appears. I was thinking, what's happening here? Just the back, Jeff, just listening over there. Yeah. This is an emergency call, what happened? It's alright. We're trying to fix a car and the airbags have just gone off. Where's that? But you had an accident right now, no? No, no. 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 In a workshop. Oh, you're I'm um, in the workshop. Okay, no problem. We're okay. Have a good day, bye. And <laughs> you, bye bye. <laughs> I didn't even know cars could do that, mate. Well, yeah, it turns out there's a BMW assist or something. <laughs> Ringing us asking if we're alright and if we've, if we've crashed. That's mad, isn't it, the way that does that? That was bad, that was big, that. <laughs> yeah. It's a big bang that lad. I mean, we shouldn't be smiling because we've got to redo all this again. Oh, I know, yeah, but still. Well, that's a lesson learned. Yeah, a lesson learned. Take the battery back off. We set the airbags off again, so it means redoing re the job that we've already done. We've got to do it again. Right, so the power has gone again for the latest f up. So now we're going to clean up this again. We've literally just fitted this probably yesterday. That's the bit that pops off there, and it goes bang, and it goes bang. Right, I'm gonna pull the seats out, or the interior out, and then we'll give you an update. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, it was horrible, that way. That video will not do that justice. Oh. <laughs> I'm checking myself, you know, honestly. Yeah. Well. Like you say. It must have meant to be. We were meant to get them to extra air, I know. Curtain air bags. Yeah. We didn't knew something new we was gonna. Something's going on. Although we know exactly what we're doing now with the curtain airbags, it's going to be slightly harder because the windscreen's in. So we're going to have to take the seats out and hopefully we can get the roof liner out the door. When we bought the parts, we got we bought these two off a lad down in Birmingham. We drove away and he rung us back to say they're off an M3. And we can bring them back if we want, but we was already up the road on the way to get the dash. <sighs> Let's do this pyro again. I've had three pyros this car, it's been crashed once. <laughs> Second pyro. It's getting out of hand. Until yeah. next time. Yeah. Right, so after the airbag disaster, let's get the car built up so it's looking more like a car again. Not much left under there now, is it? It's just yeah, there's just a few rubbers, a few little side bits here. That them two plastic bits need to go under there, and the tight ones that are hard yeah. to get They're just more engine fiddly bits, really. Not on. They're just a, they're just a cover for the yeah, them. Cool. <laughs> that look good, don't it? Then they're just a fiddly bit for the for the top of the shock. <laughs> Now that we've got most of the fiddly bits done, we'll get the bumper on. Scuffing. As we're about to fit the front bumper, we've got to plug all your parking sensors in um, and your fog lights and push it back and screw it up, basically. Right, we need the clips it down. Everything else is uh, sorted and ready to be clean. Probably a few more bolts underneath. Yeah. Oh. Should try in the bottom underneath. So the last thing to do now is to get the arch liners back in and the wheels back on and we can take it outside for a spin. We just chuck the plastic wheel arch liners on and then we're pretty much ready to take it out for a proper little test really. I can't 
nice when you get over how loud it is really when you're out driving it the camera doesn't do it much justice to be honest but it, it does sound pretty good like we got that up to temperature we'd sorted that little wear noise you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah we knew we knew it was to a certain level and yeah we could give it a bit this time drive really straight it's quicker than i thought it'd be but like i say there's not much traction even it's got good tyres on it. Even though they're fairly worn out, it just spins up. It's, you can't get the power down fully, like, pretty quickly. Well, we're getting new tyres, we, aren't we? <laughs> Rear wheel driving, we're getting new tyres. So why not? So now that we're happy with the car and we finished the tyres off, we're going to finish it off completely as in new tyres, needs tracking, we're going to get the wheels refurbed and I think we're going to take it on a dyno run to see what power it's putting on. Can we not just use last time's one? If you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like and subscribe as the best <laughs> way to love that. Huh? Sorry mate. Thanks for all the comments. We Comments? I can't do it there. Right, so if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like and subscribe as the best way to help out the channel. Thanks for all the comments. We really appreciate it. And we're trying to get back to each and every one of you. See you in the next video. It's, it's not as easy as that, but go on. Yeah, it's quite simple though, isn't it? But it just isn't. It's not as soon as that camera's on. If that no. guarantee if that was not on, I could say yeah. it a piece of piss. <laughs> Sorry, that. Me. I just wanted to say, uh, on behalf of me and the guys, a massive thank you, really. Just overwhelmed, really, by the support, the positivity. Um, we know that we've got a long way to go and loads of little tweaks and improvements to, to make like this little bad boy here. No idea how they work at all, but I've been ensured that it'll enable everyone to hear the lads a bit more clearly. So keep watching, bear with us, as well as the microphones, um, what was a little bit more pressing and important is elocution lessons that I booked Dumb and Dumber into. What do you mean? I need execution lessons. I know you call them Dumb and Dumber.